Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. yes! Did you know that an estimated 40,000 golfers annually seek emergency treatment due to injuries caused by golf balls and flying club heads? Well, did you know that, Jake? Why would I ever need to know that? Fair point. But just how bad are golf-related injuries really? Well, that's what I aim to discover. In my previous video, I got hit with golf balls from a pitching wedge, seven iron, and a hybrid driver. However, in this video, we shift our focus to the most powerful club of them all. The driver. But not just any driver. A swingless, piston-powered club capable of hitting a ball 200 plus yards. Which also cost me $1,200 and has severely set me back on this video, which kind of is giving me an existential crisis due to the fact that YouTube is giving me a lot of trouble right now, despite my best efforts to follow the community guidelines and make entertaining and educational content. <sighs> so if you could like and share the video, that would really help. That club costs more than you pay me. It's not about the money, Jake. It's about the memory. You just said the overhead cost of that club for the production value of this video that we put out is going to be too much for to make a tangible result. Let's go hit the links. Let's go hit the links. <laughs> Science! Now, I'm sure you're all curious why I bought a $1,200 club when I could have just had Mark use his driver and hit me the old-fashioned way. Well, if you watched the previous video, we had a slight issue with accuracy, and I had to stand out here for like three hours trying to get hit. So I'm hoping with this club, we can, uh, you know, make the accuracy better, dial it in a little bit more, and that way we can be more productive out here today. I think you're just scared of my drive. That's not true. Grand finale with the driver? If, if it's not true. If you can hit him. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll give you five shots. 10. Five, six. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Gentleman's agreement. <laughs> but first, Let's see what this bad boy can do. Mark, give her a test shot. Go for it, Mark. Did, did anyone see that? I have no idea where that went. <laughs> <laughs> you think you could outdrive that thing? I saw a lot of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> There's a house over there somewhere. It's <laughs> birds, too. We should probably aim into that field. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. I'm bringing this to the golf course. <laughs> This club certainly has some impressive range, but before I get hit, we're gonna do a little drywall penetration test. You see, we got a piece of drywall. Is that the drywall from the garage? Don't worry about it. What'd you do? Don't. What'd you do to the drywall in the garage? No, Mark, don't, don't go you... in there. Mark. What'd you do? It's a surprise. Oh, okay. That was the one. <laughs> It's definitely the one. They're at the board. I missed. Man, look at the wall of safety though. Reflecting the ball is not at us. <laughs> this angle is so good. <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> Dude, it shot through, hit the, the plywood and bounced out over there. I can see the ball right now. I need like four layers of drywall. Well, uh, here's the plan now. One more test. We're gonna stack up all my layers of drywall and we can see how many pieces of drywall this club can penetrate through. That's some pretty good penetration, look at that. That's what, three fingers worth? That's a glory hole. We're trying to be advertiser friendly, Jake. Sure, I stuck three fingers into it, but that doesn't mean anything. So now we got five pieces of drywall. We're gonna see how many layers the club can penetrate through. I love me some deep penetration. Dude, we oh, just... Oh, yeah, right. We did just talk about this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the second one stopped her cold. It did put a dent in it. Something also did put a dent in that. Is that the golf ball? That might have been me a couple years ago. Just two. Well, <laughs> you know, that's reassuring. I think, you know, flesh in human tissue is a little bit stronger than drywall. Especially yours. Thank you, thank you. I mean, I've been putting in some work over the years. 10 years. 10 years. <laughs> Time flies when you're lifting weights. That's what they say, right? It's time for me to get hit with the swingless golf club. For this first shot, we're gonna do a little scenario. You know, let's say 
you're golfing and it's very snowy out. Uh, as you can see, there's some slight snow here still. There was a lot more here this morning, which would have made this whole scenario make a little bit more sense, but let's forget about that, okay? I'm gonna get shot with this American flag jumpsuit on first, and then I'll get shot on the bear skin. Do you think this will protect me at all, Mark? America always protects you. Damn right. <laughs> As you can see, we're using our good old wall of safety. It's tried and true, protects me. Remember, I'm a trained professional. Don't get hit with golf balls, okay? I pay a lot for medical insurance so I can keep doing this stuff. It's a criminal organization, those insurance companies. Well, now we're not gonna get sponsored by them. Good, I don't I don't wanna be taking their, their money, all right? Their money sponsored by corporate greed. Isn't every sponsor a corporation? But some of them are cool. <laughs> Fire! Ah! <laughs> well, that was just incredibly accurate. <laughs> That First shot, huh? No, no butt cheek hit? No, you hit me pretty much in the front of my quad, <laughs> despite being turned sideways. Hmm. So, uh, small deflection? Small deflection. I don't know that, that noise that came out of me. I mean, I think I was just surprised. Yeah, you, you weren't ready for it. I didn't yeah. say go. Uh, I was telling the boys earlier, the, the wall of safety is more like the wall of anxiety because you never know when the damage is coming toward you. So if someone could send us a plexiglass, uh, wall of safety. You'll be our biggest fan. I'll give you a high five. We'll send you a, a piece of drywall. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a quick inspection of the damage. Oh, right in the front. That's impressive. With that, that angle, it like... <laughs> now I had some padding, all right? There's like almost two layers. I had the, the jumpsuit on and then, you know, my shorts. We're going bare skin on this one. Okay. And I think if you hit more of a dead center shot, it's gonna be worse. Just my theory could be wrong. I'll try my best not to not to deflect again. I'll get a straight bounce back. I, I hope so. I mean, I made it as easy as possible for you. I mean, we, yeah, you did. <laughs> did I miss? I felt the wind. I felt the wind <laughs> go by me. Are you still accurate? <laughs> Mark, no. <laughs> $1,200. Just get the next version when it comes out. Where, where it's like, gives you a laser sight? Where I'm replaced by a robot. <laughs> oh my God. You hit the one. You almost hit that camera. Uh, you know. <laughs> ah! First aid kit. It's on the, the kitchen table. Also, Jake, do you smell that? Take a big whiff. Oh, because I, cause I ripped ass. <laughs> really bad. You should smell my girlfriend's farts. Oh. <sighs> Quick look. Bam. Oh! Look away. Okay. <laughs> yeah! Ah! Open it up! What's wrong, soldier? I took a hit in the leg. It's swollen up, Doc! Oh, it's not looking good! Oh, that's nothing. You're, what a little Dude, I can see my skin raising. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. A nice first aid kit. Thank you. The doctor I recently collabed with gave it to me. Dr. ER, check him out. Good guy. Video comes out next week. That was enlightening. Honestly, hurt pretty bad. It's a good thing I got hit in the leg, you know? Imagine getting cracked in the skull with that. Be a cracked skull. Exactly, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Anyways, we're moving on. I'm gonna get hit in the left leg now. We gotta get hit in both legs, even them out. I kinda got like a little bit of OCD, so it feels weird that I have a giant lump on my right leg and not on my left. Also, I'm not gonna scream on this shot. Yeah. And when I do, everyone's gotta like the video. Oh. 
I already told you guys to like the video earlier, but now it's a double like! Ow! Well, don't like it twice, because then that's going to take your first like off. Just like the video, please. I've never liked one of your videos. <laughs> Fire! Oh, you hit the wall. Test shot, test shot. Making sure this works is all, and it works well. Gonna get a new... I mean, it's been working the entire video. The entire video, this has been working. It's... Human error, okay? <laughs> that <laughs> that <laughs> It's not your fault. I mean, it is, but... I'm just... Still inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's pretty much no wind out here. Like, one mile per hour. <laughs> Fire! A hit? I don't know. A hit? His leg is shaking, so. <laughs> <laughs> I said I wouldn't make a noise. That oh, pretty, that's right. That was pretty good. Your leg made a little quiver, but other than My that. My leg? Yeah. Because you hit me in the <laughs> cheek. <laughs> good Lord! <laughs> you hit me right here. Oh, man. I don't even know. Not another <laughs> cheek shot. <laughs> yeah. Good no! Not, not good hit. I wanted it on the this exposed part. Look, I'm just taking the fact that we even hit you. As a yeah, you're right. We did miss about quite a few times there. I'm just an amateur. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mark. You were on the high school golf team. I never started. <laughs> so we actually got some pretty good data in this video. But now, as we agreed in the beginning of this video, Mark has seven and a half attempts to hit me with his driver swing. Can he do it? I haven't played in seven months. No. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. Um, you got to make excuses for yourself. It, honestly, the uh, I think the odds are one in a hundred you hit me in the seven and a half. I'll take those odds. Ten bucks. A hundred to one? Uh, you better have a tenner on you. I do. All right. If someone gives you ten thousand to one on anything, you take it. How much you want to bet? New driver. Oh! <laughs> Why did I hold my hand out? Fine. You could have said anything. If you hit me in the seven and a half hits, I'll buy you a new driver since yours is rattling. Sad. <laughs> Let's see. All right, here we are. Ah, big swing. Big swing. All right. First one. I want to look up the numbers on this. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get him a driver. I thought I was betting you 10 bucks, but apparently it's the one in a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> what are the odds? Right also, you Ooh. hit me so low. Oh, <laughs> well, we figured out what a driver can do. I promised this video a long time ago, but we finally did it. Uh, we'll check back in a couple days and see how all these golf ball hits look. I imagine they'll look pretty bad. Which one hurt worse? Uh, this one right here. This is why I'm getting a new driver. I can't believe it. It's been two days, so it's time for the golf driver damage review. As you might expect, I'm bruised in every single spot I got hit. There's lighter bruising on my right quad and left butt cheek. Then there is much more significant bruising on my lower left and right thigh. Now I realize I wasn't hit with the hardest drives ever to be drove, but I do think the hits I did take can give us a good idea of the potential injuries one might receive from a golf driver. So to answer the question of how bad can golf related injuries be? Well, simply put, if you get hit in the legs and you have a little meat on your bones like me, I think you're gonna be all right. You might have some bruising, might limp around for a little bit, but you'll survive. However, 
If you get hit anywhere in the upper body, you're gonna have a much worse time. There, we're talking broken bones or worse. But in all honesty, the real damage I took in this video was the damage to my bank account. So if you wanna support the channel, head on over to my Patreon, where I'll be posting deleted scenes from my videos. Also, you can buy some of my merch, which now has more payment options than just PayPal. Links to both of those are down in the description. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next science-filled video.